Up until now, everything about this Navi has been super cheap. The bike itself was only about 1800 bucks, and then we spent about $320 total on a new clutch, clutch spring, variator, roller weights, and contra spring, all of which together yielded us actually surprisingly great performance results. This is the best zero to 40 and best zero to 50 we've ever had. And of course, you can't forget these $15 Vans grips looking oh so good. But today the cheapness ends because I splurged and spent $500 on a Yoshimura exhaust. That's right, $500 on an exhaust for an $1,800 bike. Let's just keep our fingers crossed that Yoshimura lives up to the quality and hype that they're known for and that this $500 exhaust is actually worth putting on an $1,800 bike. Not good. Welcome back to Life of Birch. I'm Birch. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And let's jump straight into it and check out the exhaust. All right, so we got two boxes here. The big one at the bottom is obviously the exhaust itself. And then the smaller one on the top is the optional silencer slash spark arrestor, whatever they call it, which I added on in addition to the exhaust because I have the silencer in my Yoshi exhaust that's on the Grom and I freaking love it. This is a slightly different exhaust. This is the RS9 and the other one is the RS2. But regardless, it's Yoshimura has the silencer in there and I freaking love it because with mini motos, my favorite thing is how discreet they are. So with the silencer on the Grom, it makes it so that it sounds better, sounds throatier, but it's not obnoxiously loud and you can still get away with shenanigans in the woods. Should I actually jump it or is that a bad idea? And that's what I'm hoping for out of this one. So we'll check out the silencer in a second. We'll throw that off to the side. And first let's check out the exhaust itself, which I'm super stoked for. And of course, you know, I'm also stoked for all the little goodies that Scooter Swap Shop includes in their orders. There's always a Starburst in there and shout out to them for giving me a pink, which is my favorite flavor. I don't know if they saw my last video where I said that or if they're telepathic, but either way, shout out to them. You know that Scooter Swap Shop is the go-to spot for your Honda Navi parts and you can use code Life of Birch at checkout for 5% off. All right, now let's check this thing out. So obviously right off the bat, you can tell everything's packaged up super, super nice. Right here, it looks like we have the bracket to mount it. Has a nice little inscription or whatever, small bore life. Honestly, I don't really prefer that, but I guess it's cool if you're into that. So that's all the mounting hardware. And then we got what looks like the header pipe. And this is in the works finish, which we'll talk about a little bit in a second. So it's not stainless steel, has like a nice little coating on it. Looks super high quality. And then right here, we got the muffler itself looking like it's in freaking Fort Knox, nice and protected well. So let's take that thing out and check it out. Sheesh, check that out. You can see here, this is the works finish that I was talking about. It has like a nice coating on there instead of regular stainless steel. And then you got the sexy muffler right there. Oh my God, looking so freaking good with that carbon fiber weave. And then more of the works finish. Oh my gosh, it's so freaking nice. And then of course right there, hopefully you guys can tell how much smaller this thing is than that massive stock muffler. And not only is it a lot smaller, but like I said, this is carbon fiber versus the big steel, whatever the hell that is. So according to Yoshimura, this entire system should weigh half the weight of the stock system, which we'll test. Don't worry. And then also you got the bracket right there. Like I said, the small bore life is kind of douchey to me, but whatever. We'll cover that with a Life of Birch sticker or something like that. And you got another piece of the bracket, all the hardware that you need. And it even comes with a spring pulling tool, which you'll see why we need that in a second. And then it also has instructions and warranty information right there. So far, I am super impressed with the quality. Everything looks really, really good. And the main thing that I'm super impressed with is this header pipe right Right here. Look at how reinforced that is. If you've looked into Navi exhausts already or you're part of the Navi community, whatever, I'm sure you know about the infamous Vance and Hines exhausts that are known for that flange cracking off because the welds aren't penetrated well and it vibrates a whole lot. And Yoshimura said, not in our house. They have the pie cuts right there with the welds and then the huge freaking like support bracket right there. This thing is not breaking ever. Looks so freaking good. I'm so pumped on this. Oh my God. All right, let's waste no time. Let's go ahead and get stock muffler taken off. All right, so we're gonna look underneath here and you're gonna see the exhaust attached right there. So there's gonna be two 10 millimeter bolts that we gotta take off there. And then we'll come out from underneath it. And we got a 15 millimeter here and here and another 10 mil here. All right, and then it should just pop right off and slide out. Boom, this thing's freaking heavy. Yeah, 11.4 pounds of pure just metal here. Pretty freaking crazy. Compared to the Yoshimura, which isn't even registering because it's so freaking light, <laughs> maybe I should have gotten something other than a human scale. But regardless, if the stock one is saying 11.4 and then this one is so light that the human scale isn't even registering it, I'd say that's a pretty serious improvement. So anyone who has like a postal scale or something like that, definitely weigh it and let me know. But suffice to say, the weight difference is substantial. So we're gonna start the install with this bracket right 
right here and included in the hardware we're going to take the two shorter bolts provided as well as the two taller of the metal grommets right here and all we're going to do is stick the bolt through the metal thing line it up like so and put that bad boy on and you don't need to torque them down all the way until the exhaust is fully on this is an eight millimeter allen key by the way and just like that we got it tightened down but not torqued down so there's still some room to adjust it once we line the muffler up then we have this rubber grommet right here and it's going to go in this hole so i think we're just going to have to smush it down a bit and coax it in Ugh, on today's edition of easier said than done there we go. Just got to push it through with a little Allen key or something. Then we're going to take these two grommet things that come with the hardware kit. And we're going to put the thick one on the front of this. Ooh, it has a little ding there. So we'll rotate that to the bottom. And then the thin one on the back. Shazam. Now it's time to mount up this sexy little header pipe by sliding it right in there. Putting it up on the exhaust studs. And then using the stock hardware that we took off to put it back on. And once again, we're going to tighten it down but not torque it all the way down. So we have some play to line everything up really glad that this underplate thing is so freaking dirty press against my face okay all right so we got the header pipe on and like i said it's tightened down but not torqued down so there's still a little bit of play there if we need to move it around to line everything up and then i'm gonna see if i can get a good angle of this i think it's really cool how they have this little like cutout right there in the skid plate which allows you to stick that right up through there and reach the second exhaust bolt so super nice that they put that there so you don't have to take that off and also it's worth mentioning that you just reuse the stock exhaust gasket as long as it looks good and this one did now for the exciting part where this thing really starts to take shape we're gonna slide the muffler over the header pipe and then we're going to use the long bolt and the last little metal washer to go through here and mount the muffler to the bracket. This will probably take a bit of coercing to get it on, but that is all right. Oh, there we go, because we want an airtight seal. And we'll take that and go through there and then take the provided nut and put it on the back. Oh, sheesh. Finally, the first idea of what this is going to look like. This thing is freaking sick. I love how it shows off the like single sided swing arm look in the back. This is freaking dope. All right, I got ahead of myself. I totally forgot that on the back of this, we have to put the bracket that holds on to the rear fender. So we'll slide the bracket over that then put that nut back on <laughs> then we'll use the stock fender bolt to go through the fender into that bracket that we just put on and then use the provided washer and nut to attach it all right now that everything's on and lined up we can start tightening everything all the way down and we'll start with the bolts here and here that hold this bracket on And as I'm tightening this down, I'm realizing I really like the design here because this little bracket piece is separate from the main part. So if you decide to go fenderless, like lots of people do, they just totally take this fender off. It'll work just fine because this isn't part of the actual bracket. So if you go fenderless, just take this bracket off and it still looks clean and how it's supposed to. And with everything tightened all the way down, last but not least, we're gonna put on this spring right here to attach the muffler to the header pipe. And you got that sick little Yoshimura logo right there. So we'll hook it just like that and then take the spring puller we were talking about earlier and stretch it over and take it out. Like cake, baby, like cake freaking cake. Well, dang, just like that, she's on and looking so freaking good. I love how it shows that single-sided swing arm look that we were talking about. And uh, honestly, the quality is insane. If we're going just off quality, it's worth the 500 bucks all freaking day. The only thing that I did notice, if I need a gripe, is that right there, let me turn on the light and see if it helps right there when i took it out of the box it already had some scuffs right there not a big deal because it's hidden and you can't see it but i'm just saying for 500 bucks for a navi exhaust i mean come on but other than that this thing is freaking sick everything's tightened down we're good to go and now it's finally time to do a sound check but first we got to go ahead and wipe the whole thing down with some rubbing alcohol to make sure that we get all the finger oils off of there because if not all the finger spots like that are going to burn on once it gets through its heat cycle damn that was such a good take and then i started stuttering anyway let's wipe it down and then go see what it's 
sounds like. All right, time for the moment of truth. The first startup with the new exhaust and no silencer. I'm a bit out of breath because I have one of my genuine reaction. So instead of starting it up and walking it down here, I literally just pushed it all the way down here. So first things first, let's insert a sound clip of how terrible and quiet this thing sounds stuck. <laughs> Stoked, we don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's see how crazy this thing sounds. Oh, <laughs> need some choke. Oh, okay. It's actually not as loud as I thought it was going to be. Which is half the reason why I bought the Yoshimura, because I didn't want it to be super loud, so that's good. We might be able to get away with no silencer. Oh my gosh, dude. That sounds so freaking good. Oh my gosh. Will it idle without the choke? Dude, this is so much better than I thought it was gonna be. Are you freaking kidding me? Dude, oh my gosh. I feel like there's no videos showing like how this actually sounds, so I'm sure this won't do it justice either. But I'd heard sound clips of the Vance and Hines and everybody says how like crazy loud it is and they need earplugs and everything. I might be able to run this without a silencer though. Ooh, I take it back. This is loud, dude. What the f Oh my god, dude, this thing sounds crazy. What the hell? All right, so yeah, initially I'm like, oh, it's not as loud as I thought it was going to be, but the issue is as soon as you start going, this is loud. You ready? <laughs> I don't think anything does proper justice to how freaking loud this is right now. I don't think it's as loud as people have made the Vans and Hines seem, but this thing is freaking loud. It is not inconspicuous anymore at all. Good God, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh, you hear it backfiring? Do we think it's shooting flames? I feel like some people have said that theirs ends up shooting flames. All right, here's some shade right here, so we should be able to see it better, I would think. Let's see if this thing's freaking shooting flames, dude. Also, on the Yoshimura website, it says that if you're just running the exhaust, then you don't need to do anything to the carb, no jetting or anything like that. But it's weird to me that it wouldn't need any kind of rejetting, but it's still shooting flames. If it is, we'll see. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Dude, it is like literally bouncing around as I do that. No flames for me, but we could test it out at night also. I have seen some that shoot flames. But yeah, it's interesting to me that it says no rejetting necessary, but some of them shoot flames. It says only rejet if you do an intake also. I feel like the throttle response isn't quite as crisp as it was before. It might be in my head, though. Dude, it pops like crazy. Let's come over here and throw the silencer in and see how it runs and sounds with that. And we'll do it by my camera so that nobody steals it. Yeah, first impressions, this thing is freaking loud with no silencer. It didn't seem like it when it was just like <laughs> idling, but as soon as you get on it, like it doesn't have gears, you know? So it's not like you can shift and make it quieter when the RPMs go down. It's just like, oh my gosh, dude, very loud. All right, so silencer should be pretty simple to put in. It's just one three millimeter Allen key right there. So we'll swap that in and then see what we're working with. But <laughs> so far, it seems like this is what we're gonna want is the silencer. Silencer. All right, and just like that, the screw is in. It does call for Loctite though, so if you end up, or if we end up deciding to run this full time, we'll have to throw some Loctite on it, but let's see how it sounds with the silencer. I think I'm gonna like it a lot more than without. Oh yes. <laughs> Still not the quietest, but much better. Now let's test it out for real. not that much of a difference honestly it is still screaming <laughs> it is still loud it didn't make it as quiet as i thought it would but it's definitely quieter but definitely still loud if that makes sense
Yeah, silencer is definitely, definitely the way to go. It didn't make as big of an impact as I thought it would, but enough of an impact that I can say I am for sure running this silencer all the time. My ears were freaking ringing when I didn't have the silencer in, and it's still loud, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's a lot more tolerable. <laughs> And it also, I feel like, is much more responsive with the silencer in because it has more back pressure, I'd imagine. And it also doesn't sound like it pops quite as much. This person's probably like, what the hell? Don't do what I do. I'm just trying to get to my camera. Can't have somebody stealing freaking, like, whatever, hundreds of dollars worth of uh, GoPro equipment, you know? I'll take that. <laughs> Yeah, this is much more bearable with the silencer in. Ooh, no, it still has the pop with the silencer in. I hope you guys can hear that because that sounds badass. So, what are we thinking about the Yoshimura exhaust? Uh, is it worth the money? I would say yes. The quality is incredible. And even though I harped on like the $500 for um, an exhaust for an $1,800 bike, the amount of materials that it takes to make a muffler don't really vary based off of how much the bike costs or the size of the bike. Like, it's the same muffler that they use on bigger bikes and the same work coating and everything like that so even though it is very expensive for an $1,800 bike at the end of the day like it's a muffler they don't they don't change the cost based off of how much the bike costs oh my god dude this is loud so yeah you have to have the silencer in this thing I don't understand how anybody could run it without it <laughs> like especially going through the suburbs right now I feel bad even with the silencer in God, dude, I feel so bad going past the golf course. That guy's staring at me. This thing is so freaking loud. My, how opinions can change so quickly. I started it up and said that it was quieter than I thought, and now I'm riding it, and I'm almost embarrassed by how loud it is. All right, let me freaking park it right here so we can go over the final thoughts of it. See, at idle, it's not that bad. But the question is, is it actually worth putting a $500 exhaust on an $1,800 bike? And I guess that would just be up to you. I think it looks incredible. I think it's sounds great, but the volume of it is insane with the baffle in it or not, you know? Like, I'm actually going to turn this off right now. So, yeah. In conclusion, I'd say it looks great. It sounds great. It saves a bunch of weight. It shows off that sexy single-sided swing arm. The quality is insane, as you have come to expect from Yoshimura. Obviously, they're still following through with that. It's engineered to perfection. It's not going to crack like some of the other exhausts out there, but uh, at the end of the day, I guess you got to decide, how much of a hooligan do I actually actually want to be because I can't stress it enough this is loud but damn does it look good I don't know I'm torn leave a comment below let me know if you would leave the exhaust on or if you would switch back to stock I like being a hooligan but I like being a discreet hooligan and I feel like this is just begging for the cops to get caught on me because you guys know how much I like to mob through some woods And I feel like with this exhaust, it goes from like, oh, that guy's just going through the woods on his cute little scooter to like, he is on an illegal dirt bike. Call the police right now. And that's the exact opposite of what I'm after. And I'm sure lots of you guys are wondering about performance and how this thing adds to that because all the other videos that I've done with the CVT parts, I've done a top speed and zero to 40 and zero to 50 run, but I'm not going to do it for this one. This one is just about kind of the exhaust itself and the quality and the sound right now. And then then shortly, I'm going to do a race. Now that we have all the performance stuff done to it that I want to, I'm going to race my girlfriend's Navi, which is bone stock, and see how much all of this stuff contributed to the performance. And obviously, once we do that, we'll compare it to the pre-exhaust numbers and see how much performance was added just from the exhaust itself. So make sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on that race where we see once and for all how much the performance mods have actually changed it versus stock. Shout out to the Patreon members for making all this possible. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe, and we will catch you on the next one. Me and my loud ass Navi, baby. Yeah. Love you guys. Peace. I need you to come out here immediately and listen to this and tell me what you think. Okay. Scrambles to hide chicken tenders from cat. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to say anything. I'm going to get your pure reaction, okay? And this is with the silencer in. I'm gonna do a flyby on the road, and then I'm gonna come back and see what you think. 
That was only about 35 or 40. That's not good. That's insane. And this is with the silencer in. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to keep it on. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Man, that feels like a surefire way to get pulled over. Yeah. 